Bandersnatch. Banda what? Bandersnatch. Bandersnatch is a unique Black Mirror story in that it's interactive. You, the viewer, get to decide what's going to happen. It's actually quite complicated behind the scenes, but for the viewer, it's fairly straightforward. You are given choices. Will you go out of the door or will you jump out of the window? But there's myriad sort of timelines and story branches you can go down. Netflix asked us if we'd be interested in doing an interactive story. I knew I wanted to do another period episode, and I thought, well, what if you're controlling somebody in the past? So it kind of spiralled from there. The past is immutable, Stefan. We can't choose differently with hindsight. The story itself focuses on a young guy called Stefan Butler. Stephen! Stefan. Stefan, sorry. That's all right, I get it all the time. Stefan is a video game coder, and it's a story about him trying to make his first game and get it published. Tucker's an entrepreneur, he's a bit of a hustler, and he's set up his company, Tuckersoft, and he's got basically a bunch of nerds in, and he's just working them dry, basically. I'm Colin, yeah? Yeah, I've played all of your games. Colin is a gifted games developer. He recognises a certain talent in Stefan. How did you know that? It was very challenging at every stage. There were points where in working stuff out, it got like trying to do a Rubik's Cube in your head. And I had to literally get up from my desk and kind of walk around the house holding my head. It was a new experience producing this film. I remember midway through the first day, uh, literally ripping up the call sheet and the running order and going, OK, we need to do this a different way. Then you've got the actors having to keep track of where their character is, bearing in mind that the previous morning they may have played themselves in a different timeline. It is really hard to get your head around which scenes you're doing because there's just so many. Sometimes I'd be delivering what I thought was version three of the dialogue and I can see the actor opposite me giving me the eyes of say, that's version four, mate. As you watch or play, you kind of become part of the story yourself. The interactive element was core. It was adding a whole other conceptual value. There's all sorts of different narrative paths and they could lead you in this direction or that. Or they can even lead you in a great big loop all the way back to the very beginning. Bandersnatch. Banda what? Bandersnatch. Bandersnatch is a unique Black Mirror story in that it's interactive.